welcome to Linkronicity, where your journey and destiny link. I'm Stacey Coombe, Guy Linkologist, and I'm here to help you link your life. Today, we're going to be talking about understanding your internal compass through your mind and heart connection links. Now, that seems like a lot, but this is the reason why this is a lot is because this came, this video is coming to you courtesy of a question from Alex W. of British Columbia, who has three questions. <laughs> so I'm like, I have to address all this in one video. So this is going to be great. Thanks, Alex, for writing it. I appreciate it. Um, Alex writes, greetings, Stacey. I have had a fascination with the brain for years, and I'm going to go to school f to learn more about it from psychology. I hear you talk about the mind and heart connection, and I have three major questions for you. Why do you believe that the heart and mind are connected and that they're actually important? Two, do you believe that logic is enough? And three, can you tell me if you think the mind at times can override the heart? Thanks in advance, Alex. Okay. Yes, 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 and yes, yes. <laughs> ah, this is a big topic and I love it because it's it's we can tackle a lot in one one video. So here we go. This is for you, Alex, and everybody else watching. Okay the mind, the heart connection, and the internal compass. The internal compass is a big thing, right? We all have to check in with our internal compass from time to time. And life is very challenging sometimes, and we have to make our decisions from our internal compass. And sometimes the mind, yes, does override the heart. Sometimes the heart overrides the mind. And sometimes when they're in balance and they're infused together, they work in harmony for our greatest, highest good, and it's a beautiful thing. Sometimes a lot of people are confused as to which one they should use or what gets applied when and where and how. So let's tackle all this. Um, okay, yes. So basically, our mind and our heart are connected. They are. And why do I believe that is so? Is because I don't believe that any one decision at any one given time actually is completely isolated unless it's based solely on fact. Solely on fact. <laughs> but here's the thing. Fact is based on perception sometimes. Okay? There's statistics and analytics and facts. And then there's the fact that we perceive in our mind to be true because that is either how we were raised, how we were taught, you know, how it comes into play in terms of what we believe. Um, do we have emotional trauma, PTSD? Um, do we have experiences which have actually shaped who we are culturally, generationally? You know, all of these things come into play in how our mind processes information how our heart processes information through our actual experiences, our wisdom, and then how we apply it to any given decision in our life. It's a lot, right? It's a lot. So uh, I think it's important to have everything all on the same page, but that's not always possible. So here's the thing. So we're individuals, right? We're individuals from the day that we're born, we are individuals. Our eternal GPS system is what it is for who we are as we come here to navigate our life here on Earth with what it is that we're here just supposed to be doing, okay? How we grow up and how we're influenced by our upbringing and our childhood and our social circle and our friends and our family and our workplace and our colleagues and uh, society in general, where we grow up, um, culturally what we believe, all of these things come into play with a lot of the things that we decide sometimes as our internal makings of who we are, what our truth is, and until we actually go into the deep soul searching mode to get to the place of our authentic truth to understand our internal GPS compass, um, and if it's navigating from a place of reality, we're navigating from a place of perception. Now if we perceive fear, <laughs> Now we're dealing with a whole other animal, right? Okay. If we take fear out of our brain and we're, pers and we're making our decisions from our gut internal GPS navigation, then we're now functioning from a place of feeling, emotions, heart, and then relying upon the EQ as opposed to the, just strictly the IQ. But when they're in balance with one another, we know that we're working through our, our human works in progress to become healthier, better beings, right? 
and having a, a deeper clarity and understanding of who we are authentically as a human and as a soul and, and as a person, when we understand where our decisions are based from, will then give us the clarity as to is our mind more heavily weighing on the scale, is our heart more weighing heavily on the scale, or internally is our gut strictly navigating. And until we check in with ourselves, sometimes we don't know. Sometimes it's an infusion of all of it. And sometimes it's it's in a place where we, we do actually have clarity. Let me give you an example, okay? Let's say you're on a hike. There's a group of people on a hike with an actual map. Logic, map, east, north, west, south, right? You're navigating via this map, this factual guide of which you're, where you're navigating. Here's another group of people hiking without a map. And they have to go strictly on wisdom, acquired knowledge, understanding that where, which side of the tree that moss grows on, looking at daylight, where the sun is coming in their shadows, um, feeling like uh, we've been down this path before or we made a wrong turn here, okay? When you look at life from these two places, it's really different, isn't it? Based on how you're actually navigating a decision, which is why Yes, Alex, I believe that they're both important. They're both important. The mind and the heart are both important. And your internal compass is based sometimes on one or the other or sometimes both. So I hope that helps you understand like the beliefs of what you had asked about, you know, like why I believe that is so and, and can I believe one can override the other? Yes. And um, is, is uh, are they connected? Yes. And uh, is logic enough? Yes, sometimes, and no, sometimes, depending on what it's applied to. So how you navigate your life in your own wisdom with your own experiences based on your own internal feelings is up to you, and no two people are alike on any same page at any given time uh, based on your experiences in your life and what you've learned and applied and what you believe. And only you know your truth. And when you walk in your authentic pathway with your authentic self, with your core values and principles of who you are and use your logic accordingly and use your heart accordingly and navigate your life through your own gut internal feelings, only then will you know what's right for you, okay? There's no exact correct answer for anybody. It's, it's really what's right for you and what's going to resonate with your mind and heart in your life so you can lead your best life. I'm Stacey Kumagai, your linkologist, here to help you link your life. Please be sure to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, link or to see blogspot.com and go to linkernesty.com for private coaching sessions. And if you have a question that you want me to answer, go ahead and hit me up on social media. I hope you have a wonderful day linking your mind and heart and your internal GPS compass, and I hope that all of your decisions are based resonating with your authentic soul.